Welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Pam Manfredo-Curtis, and this is Corner Office Confidential. Before the break, I started to talk about that Matt has a skill that, you know, many of us need these days, and it's how to persevere and flourish in this current crazy economic, political, and social media climate that we're all facing. There's no better person than him because of the enormous pressure that is on him personally these days. And um, and and so uh, what you and I talk about a lot, Matt, is your gift, the skill, is resilience. Mm-hmm. And um, it's really quite high. And I just want to talk a little bit about what resilience is and then ask you about this. So resilience is about our ability to rebound during times of ambiguity and change. We want to control our environment, whether we do that directly, like the light goes off and we want to walk over and turn on the light, or indirectly. So I'm looking at somebody and the light goes out, like nodding my head, go over and do that. Um, We've learned in the work, in our work and in the research, that there are really five core dimensions that make a resilient person. The first dimension that's the most important is called positive And there's positive self, like I believe in myself. I'm a highly competent, capable person. And no matter what you do to me, I can handle that. There's also positive the world, which is about do I see the world filled with opportunity or do I see it filled with threats? Um, And you are a person who has tons of self-confidence. Like your resilience is really, really high. Um, You believe in yourself. You know that you can dress anything. Sometimes you see more threats in the world than, and that is actually a common trait that we see in executives over time, is they see more the problems or the threats. Um, I'm hearing in our current economic times by executives in general that there's more of a gap, like people um, see more threats in the world than they than they used to because of some of the pressures. Um, we also, resilient people are really clear about their long-term goal. They know that things will be crazy day in, day out, but they keep focused on the end state and, and you know, just keep focused on that as the world goes crazy. And um, there's a third dimension, which is about flexible flexibility. Um, You can generate your own ideas for any problem that you're facing or reach out to other people for both emotional support and flexible and ideas. And uh, they build a plan. There's a clear plan and they communicate that plan to others. And then they are the fifth dimension is all about risk. It's all about proactivity because resilient people know that they will never have all the data and facts that they need to address a problem. So they just go. Now, what I've seen in you from 2012 to now Uh, You retook it in 2017, but now there's been an increase in your resilience, which is interesting, right? Because your pressures have gotten higher. Mm -hmm. You believe in your, like the highest things you do, believe in yourself, generate lots of ideas, jump in and take risks, right? Gather ideas from other people and, and, and get clear about the goal. You, you, you know, move towards it. So what I'd love, um, is just, you know, the past three years that you've faced these really difficult times with tweets and all the trade things and everything going on. Um, like, can you talk a little bit of what this feels like for you or how you, you know, take care of yourself and how you build your resilience? Can you talk a little bit about those kind of things? Yeah. Um, so first of all, I have no idea why I am this way. And I, I think it, I'm, I'm fortunate that I am. I mentioned earlier that I've always leaned into the opportunities that change the most things i like it there i don't know why but i like the ambiguity and uncertainty i've always Mm -hmm. i've always gravitated toward that it it is helpful these days when so much is untethered and uncertain um and it and it only seems to increase um it's a very helpful profile to have and i'm thankful that i have it because um you know the way the way i it, it, to me, literally, in the in the role that I have, and I think what most people are facing that you referenced is so much is unpredictable and uncertain. And you, in in whatever role you're in, you to me, you want to be able to pin down a few things that you know. Mm-hmm. I, I have a saying with respect to planning um, that that planning is what's important sort of having a plan is less Mm. important right so that the actual act of having a point of view how you think the world is going to turn out is really valuable because it gives you some sort of perspective for when the world isn't turning out the way you thought it was going to turn out Mm -hmm. so that you can adapt um so that very much is in my psychology and i would say that the 
stress of the environment that we're in broadly with the economy and political uncertainty and things that we used to take for granted that not only do you not can you not take for granted anymore, but that they might change tomorrow as well. Um, it's incredibly demanding. Um, what I do, I mean, quite literally at the end of the day, I'm, the, the tank is empty. I'm depleted. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm out of energy. I've, I've mm. left it all on the field. Mm. And the most important thing to me is a good night's sleep. Is right? that right? Yeah. I mean, and, and, and I, and I just fine in the morning, you know, like ready to go. That's great. Right? How I, that's not necessarily advice that may work for everybody, but I, it works for me. Yeah. Right? If I didn't have that sort of downtime. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I do um, is, is by my nature, I like to fix things. I like to solve problems. Mm -hmm. So I create, if you will, problems in my personal life that I can solve. <laughs> um, and I have a saying, and this came out of my mouth just when I was probably 30 to a boss who sort of caught me doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing off um, – off job, off task. And I just blurted out, you know, sometimes I need a problem I can solve. <laughs> and, and I really do. It's like a Scooby mm -hmm. snack for me. You know, I it's like, it. it gives me like, okay, I, 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 I'm regrounded. Yes. I can do this. And, and so, you know, in my personal life, I, I do, I cut my own grass. I plow my own snow. I do most of my landscaping. These are things that I treasure on my weekends or whenever I can fit them in because they are these problems I can solve. They're, they're, I'm, I'm, I'm rejuvenated by that, um, that act of seeing progress of my, in this case, physical work. So those things work for me, Pam, to sort of refill the tank mm -hmm. and, and the tank needs to be full every day. Yeah. Um, I'm happy that the profile helps. I'm happy that it's strengthening um, I do believe that the thing that is most challenging for me is is the is the threat side of it that you mentioned. What's going on in the world? I I want the world to be a better predictable place than it is, better more predictable place than it is. That's probably the thing that's the most depleting for me. Um, and it's been and it's been tough. And I I would further say that. What one of the wonderful things about Harley Davidson is that the employees and the dealers and their employees just own this brand to their core. Mm -hmm. And being at the company 26 years, this is part of the fiber of who I am. We 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 take this work and this brand so personally, and the and and the things that go on in the media or the political environment are very depleting mm -hmm. for our employees and our, and our dealers. And it's challenging for me to, to, cause I can't talk to people as, as easily as I'd like to. And memos don't do the trick and, and maybe, you know, short videos help, but they don't necessarily work for everybody. And so the demands to kind of keep the esprit de corps up in this time is particularly important and it's particularly challenging and, um, weighs on me. Yeah. Right, because this group of people could not be smarter, could not be more dedicated, could not be harder working. And I mean, everybody yeah. in dealers and, you know, and they deserve better. And I own that, right? Literally and, and, and emotion, emotionally. And I need better ways to, you know, prop people up because we're in a tough patch and we're going to get through. <laughs>